the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. And in this particular case, I want to start focusing on the parables and and in this topic or this discussion today we talk about Christ answering the purpose of speaking in parables uh, and I think maybe once a week just go over a parable you know some parables are long some parables are short those that are long you know then most cases we can just cover the basic reading of the parable those are short we can expound on it at least from each person's perspective, right? And so in case, my perspective, uh, share with you, and I'd, I'd love to hear any comments that you may have, send it to me. Don't forget to subscribe uh, to the channel and uh, and make comments so we can, and may, you may have any questions, be glad to answer from my perspective, right? Uh, so I wanted to, like I said on the screen, just say how to make sense of God's words. and. And the best way is to start off with the parables. Uh, and in this case, we're going to talk about the purpose of the parable. And the foundation, as you see on the slide, is in Nehemiah 8, 8. So they read in the book, in the law of God distinctly, and gave the sense and caused them to understand the reading. And so let's go into the, the scriptures real quick. Like I said, we, we try to do this segments and little bites, right? and get out of here in seven minutes, eight minutes. The purpose of the parable. In Matthew 10, 13, and the disciples came and said unto him, why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mystery of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it is not. For whosoever has, to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever has not, from him should be taken away even that he has. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they seeing see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. And in them is filled the, fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which says, by hearing you shall hear and you shall not understand. And sin you shall see and shall not perceive. For this people heart is wax gross and their ears are dull of hearing and their eyes they have closed lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears. And she understand with their heart and should be converted and I should heal them. But blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which you see and have not seen them and to hear those things which you hear and have not heard them. And the whole point is that Christ speaking the, the, the parables uh, to the, uh, the disciples is because this is how the world is even now. You wonder sometimes how some people are willingly ready to receive the gospel. And those who are, uh, as the scriptures said, their heart is waxing gross with anger and bitterness and 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 and, and, and the take you in the flesh they justify me so in some cases if you go with the history of what man has done to and to, to, to different people's ancestors to the African American ancestry to the Native American ancestry even those who, who did lived under the the dark ages or the 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 caste system you know uh, there's a lot of things that man has done to one another, the different wars and everything else. And, and some of them even profess to be a Christian. So 
you can see why somebody heart is wax and gross and their ears are dull of hearing because they they keep hearing people who profess to be saved but their actions are totally different we're supposed to let our light shine and we're supposed to conform to the image of Christ so I'm saying is look at that parable you can see why some people hearts is wax gross. You can see their ears are dull and hearing and their eyes have closed. And, and that's even those who pretend to be Christians, but you can see their actions showing you that they, 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 they have their hearts are gross. They're, they're wax gross and they, they have issues. They need to be born again. They need to be in Christ. They need to be led by the Holy Spirit. And that's us. Those who are led by the Holy Spirit, yeah, we don't we're perfect, but we have an intent to do right. Amen. So let's understand that God is word has blinded the eyes of many. But you and me, we continue to seek him first daily. And in our day prayer with him and say, mercy and grace for me and my neighbor amen all right so we're gonna start covering the parables try at least part, uh each of the parables that christ taught try to do it once a week and try to keep it at seven eight minutes amen god bless you and i see you when i see you bye-bye this is the day that the lord has made we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the 